With all of its drive-ins, diners, and poodle skirts, the 1950s were quite an interesting time period. There's even a movie that takes place in the 1950s called Back to the Future. However, despite the fact that it's called Back to the Future, in the movie, they actually go to the past. In this video, we will be going back to the past as well and taking a look at the 1950s in terms of fads and trends. Television itself was invented in 1925, but with the Depression and World War, it never really took off until the late 40s. The 50s were a period of innovation in the television world. Talk shows like The Ed Sullivan Show took off and revolutionized the way we see talk shows today. The Ed Sullivan Show was among the first to have musical guests, such as The Beatles. Sadly, other shows from the 50s were not as successful. Lassie, a popular television dog's career, fell down a well. While it is often referenced in popular media today, there have been little to no commercially viable reincarnations of shows mostly about dogs as opposed to their owners. Except perhaps, The Littlest Hobo. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Shockingly, people wore clothing before and even after the 1950s. Believe it or not, however, we don't wear the same clothing as people did back in the day. For example, do you remember the last time you saw someone wearing a poodle skirt at the club? No, you don't. That's because poodle skirts have since become irrelevant, like Beanie Babies or Oprah Winfrey. One clothing item that survived the era is training bras. To research this, I've had to look up training bras so much that I'm on some kind of watch list now. However, there's no doubt that they've had a lot of staying power within the industry. No, we aren't talking about human emotions or toasters in the bathtub. When you're a kid, you undoubtedly played with many things. Only 50s kids will remember these 10 unbelievable toys. Number 6 will shock you. Number 10, Frisbee. Number 9, Barbie. Number eight, water balloons. Number seven, Mr. Potato Head. Number six, little people. Number five, silly putty. Number four, Pez dispenser. Number three, wiffle ball. Number two, chatty Cathy. And number one, Gumby. How many of these things do you remember from your own childhood, Mr. Whitney? We've never heard of any of these before. At all. To each decade, there are words and phrases that define it. Back in the 1920s, for example, we used to say words like dollface and prohibition. And in February of this year, we said, damn Daniel, like a bunch of fruitcakes. Back in the 50s, though, we had many phrases that we still use to this day, such as baby, dibs, cloud nine, gig, and make out. However, Many terms, especially ones related to cars, did not last nearly as long. Terms like souped up, hot rod, bent eight, burn rubber, and many more. Perhaps these terms stem from the fact that in the 50s, your car was your pride and joy. Rock music was evolving a lot during this time period. Artists like Elvis stepped into the limelight and became very popular. Now, Elvis was extremely popular in his time period, and there's no doubt that he's had quite an influence on the music industry, but he's not nearly as popular today, which is why I would say that he's a fad. Now, one thing that's interesting about the 50s is that the way people listened to music evolved. When uh, you went to the diner or the soda shop with the boys, you would often want to listen to your favorite Elvis song. And what better way to listen to your Elvis song than having old Jimmy bust out one of those nickels and put it in the jukebox? If Jimmy forgets his nickels, can't listen to that Elvis song. 
The 50s were, in a way, the birth of the modern film industry. Directors like Alfred Hitchcock, who made various popular films during that time, had such an impact on the film industry that the any suspense you see in movies today is based on his suspense theory. Now, he was a great director, and during that time period, we also had a great actor. His name was James Dean, and James Dean was only in three movies. But from those three movies, he was extremely popular. But then, tragically, he died. And while he's still a pop culture icon today, referenced in songs by Lana Del Rey and Halsey, he is not nearly as popular as he was when he was alive. Rest in peace.